He's gone crazy. Stop! Oh, I got squirted right in the face with a frickin' hormone guts. Yuck! Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, it's going to be an absolutely insane one. I definitely don't know how I'm going to get everything done that I need to, so I think it's time to make a list. Okay, so let's get the day started by checking for gecko eggs. We have thousands of gecko eggs, so as they're starting to hatch, it's gonna be absolutely crazy. We only have about eight or 10 hatched out so far, so we haven't quite hit that explosion yet, but let's see what happens here. Uh, let's see if there's any eggs hatching here. Oh, there is one little baby over here. Look at, there's one baby there. So we'll go ahead and pull that one out, and then we'll just check and see if any of these other ones are gonna hatch. Let's see, no babies there. No babies there. And probably this last batch is the only ones. Nope, no babies there. So only one little baby gecko this time, but let's see what it is. Okay, so the breeding was actually a pastel raptor to a pastel raptor white and yellow. So let's see if it's either a pastel raptor or if it is a pastel raptor white and yellow. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that is 100%. Look at that little guy. Come here, little monkey. Come on. Look at how unbelievably cute that thing is. Of course, this is absolutely a pastel raptor white and yellow. Oh my gosh, that is such a cute little guy. I tell you what, when geckos start hatching, it happens quick. So to have only one hatch today is probably almost a blessing because when they really start hatching, sometimes we'll have legitimately, you know, 50 or 100 babies every single day. That's a lot of babies to set up and take care of and everything like that, but what is an awesome thing it is to see and again I'm still working on that live cam so you guys can watch these geckos hatch live it's gonna be absolutely cool so all right one more thing off the list next up I have to set up all the baby ball pythons that have hatched over a little bit so there's a bunch of babies to set up and mark properly and although it's not like a hard task whatsoever the truth is it's a little bit demanding because you want to make sure you mark things properly because you know when we're hatching a ton of snakes at every single day that uh, if you mark something wrong you may not catch it until weeks later or even months later so there's been times where I've had like a four gene animal marked a two gene animal and then it gets sold and I end up giving away an animal at uh, half the price so uh, not that it's a major deal but we want to make sure we mark them properly and inventory them properly so let's get going Okay, so my last animal to set up, and I actually hadn't showed you this guy yet. This is actually a Lemon Blast Calico Yellow Belly. I mean, just take a look at how gorgeous that animal is. Again, that's a Calico Lemon Blast Yellow Belly. So that's the first time I've actually produced this particular mutation, so I couldn't be more excited. So uh, there you go, one more thing off my list, babies are set up. I swear to gosh, Hornworms are one of the most amazing things on the planet. I mean, these things literally like double their size every day. I mean, it's crazy. These things came in like this big just a week ago and now they're monsters. I mean, take a look at that hornworm. I mean, wow, that thing is crazy. So I have to feed these off because I think that they're about getting to the size where I can't feed them if they get much bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed Karma. Gonna certainly feed Bella, but I think I'm actually gonna feed Queen Elizabeth. Jessica told me that tarantulas like hornworms too, and that seems like that would be a really good meal. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I've never fed Queen Elizabeth the red knee tarantula a hornworm before, so that should be pretty cool. But first up, Karma. Karma, are you ready? You wanna try to eat that? I honestly just think that this thing is just too big for Karma, so uh, that was a no-go for Karma. We'll have to get smaller ones for him. Let's see how Fetty does, maybe he'll like them. Fetty, you want to try?
Well, Fetty certainly loved those hornworms, and that's a huge meal for him. I mean, he had a big meal, so that is gonna be awesome for him. Next up is Bella. She absolutely loved these hornworms last time, and they were a lot smaller, so I can't imagine what she's gonna do this time. I'm just gonna feed her in her cage because, oh yeah, she's, just, she's going crazy. Oh, I got squirted right in the face with a frickin' hornworm guts, yuck. Okay guys, that was certainly a complete success, other than the fact that I literally got sprayed with hormone and guts in my face. So I'm gonna go wash my face and my arms that is just covered with guts. But Bella absolutely loved those hornworms. Uh, next up, Queen Elizabeth. All right, so we have this last hornworm here. And again, I'm gonna try to feed it to Queen Elizabeth. Uh, I've never fed her anything like this before. And uh, of course, Jessica said that they, they do eat these, so let's see how she likes them. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Here you go, girl. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. She doesn't seem to be paying any attention to it whatsoever, but I tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a GoPro just running, and let's see if maybe when I walk away she changes her mind, but uh, I have no idea what's gonna happen. It would be really cool if she ate something that size because that's really crazy. She usually just pounces on crickets and bugs, but uh, she's just kinda hanging out. I don't think she knows what to do with it because she's been eating bugs her whole life. She's never had a hornworm, so um, let's just see what happens. I'll let the GoPro run, and if nothing happens, then nothing happens. If something happens, we'll hopefully catch it on tape. you guys tomorrow. Okay, so all wrapped up with the vlog. One more thing off my plate. Okay, let's go score Lori. Okay, bad idea. That's right, the last thing on that list did say tattoo. Now you guys know that I have a sleeve and a lot of you people have asked me what these tattoos are about, where did I get them, on and on and on. Well, it's been about eight months since I've had a tattoo and the whole idea, honestly, right from the beginning was to get two arms that basically covered my love of animals and not just my arms. I was gonna do more than just my arms and probably move on to my back and so on with that. As a matter of fact, I have half my chest done now too. So anyways, let me tell you the story. There's a guy named Bob Tyrell He's one of the world's famous black and gray artists. Well, he happens to be a friend of mine. And my very first tattoo I ever got was right here, this cheetah, and right there. That was the very first tattoo, and it was from Bob Tyrell. Now, I've wanted to have animal sleeves for 25 years, but I didn't know the artist I wanted to get it from. And when I became friends with Bob, I realized he was the guy because he is unbelievably talented. So regardless, we started, and this turned out to be an African sleeve. So here I have my cheetah that I just talked about. Then I have my Nile crocodile up here. I have a meerkat right here, a rhino right here, a gorilla here, an African elephant on this side, an African black-footed penguin here, a giraffe right here, and even a bush viper right here. Of course, the bush baby that's tucked in right there, and I even have a leopard on my chest. Now, the idea here is to go Australia, so I'm gonna do an Australia sleeve, and I'm gonna do a lot of different animals. Of course, I want the iconic animals, the koalas, the kangaroos, stuff like that, but I also think like parenti monitors, and uh, gosh, there's a bunch of cool snakes, and I mean, there's so many cool wombats, and there's so many cool animals in Australia, so do me a favor, comment down below what Australian animal you'd like to see on 
my arm. We're gonna go ahead and start off just like I did with the cheetah. I'm gonna start right here with a koala unless Bob talks me out of it. But I figure I'll just start with that iconic animal right here. And I've had the chance of messing with koalas in the past. They're amazing animals. So uh, I think that's what we're gonna go with unless Bob talks me out of it. But regardless, I wanna know from you guys, what Australian animals do you wanna see on my sleeve? And I'll take you to Bob's right now and we'll get this tattoo started. All right, so guys, I'm here with Bob Terrell, of course, the mastermind in black and gray. And this is about what's going to happen here. So uh, it's going to be an interesting night. Let's get things started. All right, guys, so the fun begins. And uh, for those of you that haven't had work done, trust me, it's not as bad as you're thinking. And Bob is known, actually, for being super gentle, too. So that well, not today, though. I'm going to make it hurt like hell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I know, he's always great. So we're about five hours into the tattoo, and really for me, I'll be honest, you know, look, number one, I don't enjoy getting tattooed at all, but I love the art so much that it's worth the pain of doing it, and it's not really that bad. I mean, anyone that's like screaming and kicking, I don't know what's wrong with them because it's not that bad. But that being said, the worst part for me is just kind of sitting here, you know, because you guys know I never really sit still, so, uh, but Bob makes it good because he's always playing good music, and, and this time I actually watched a couple movies, so that really passed time too, so regardless, um, uh, we're getting close, not too much further, and it's, uh, from what I can see, it's looking good, but I haven't peaked too much, to be totally honest with you. You guys will get more view than I do right now. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you can keep working. <laughs> so there it is. Alright guys, so we are done, and I have not looked at it yet, so you guys are literally getting a view of this before I am, and you're going to see me seeing it for the very first time in the mirror right now. Oh my gosh, that is rad, man. What do you guys think? I mean, that is so freaking cute. I love it. Koalas are amazing. And uh, this is a great way to start my Australia sleep. So, uh, man, I tell you, what do you guys think? <laughs> that is so awesome. All right, Bob, you are a legend. Thanks, brother, for everything, man. How did I, how did I do? Oh, you sat great, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I'm smacking his fresh tattoo. That always feels good. <laughs> I knew you did yeah. that purpose. <laughs> so uh, thanks so much, brother. I can't. And, hey, we only have like 10 or 11 pieces to go until it's done. Yeah. All right, it's going to be fun. 100 hours, we'll be done. <laughs> All right, thanks, brother. I'll see you soon, man. Okay. Thanks, man. All right, guys, let's get home. All right, guys, so I am back home, and it's been an extremely long day, but a really cool one. It was just really cool at the shop, and of course, getting this tattooed. I couldn't be more happy with the start of my Australian animal sleeve. So go ahead and comment down below and let me know what Australian animal you'd like to see, not only on my sleeve, but maybe next. And, and whatever you guys think, maybe I'll go with that. That would be really cool. And also, let me know how you think this thing turned out. I was really, really pleased with it. I think it's going to go great when it's all done. So thank you guys so much for tuning in today. You guys mean the world to me and I cannot believe how much you support me. You guys are absolutely wonderful. Can you do me a huge favor and smash that like button for me? Hit the notification bell so you know when I post videos. Make sure to be kind to somebody and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.